<laughs> well, Tom, I'd say you were looking good, but my grandmother told me not to be a liar. Tom and Ulysses. Yes. This beef, it's deep. You gonna give me a fair fight this time, or are you gonna cheat the whole time? Oh, he's calling him a cheater. I did everything I could to stay as long as I could. And you didn't care whose throat she cuts on the way. Right, all right, all right. I would just love to do it one-on-one, -on -one, head to head. You're in the right spot, then. Are you gonna talk like a child, or are you gonna act like a man? Oof, man. There's only one way to settle this, huh? I'm ready to get into it. Let's do this shit. My initial reaction to Ulysses, he just seemed arrogant and smug, and that you could just tell he's got that little devil in his eye, and he probably thinks he's a little bit better than you. We're all only one mistake from going home. When I first met Tom, I didn't really think much of him. I didn't really know who he was or what he had to offer. The more I got to know him, the less that I really see eye to eye with him. Ulysses, he was just so worried about being head of the school kids club and having a smart ass comment on everything he does. I think everybody sitting in the rooms is strong as competitors. I feel like yeah. that. Yeah. Maybe we should pull forces for a while. Tom and Derek, they knew they were outnumbered. We had a flash challenge. Tom had to throw Ulysses under the bus and rat on his ass. He did kind of turn into a little snitch. That's where this whole grudge I stems mean, from. Why wouldn't it? We want to have snowflakes fall through the piece to give it a little movement. We can use wide out. It's gonna be a really cool, ingenious way to do snowflakes. The challenge was set up by the judges. They said, you can only draw on one side of these bubbles. You cannot touch the other side. And what does the guy do? He takes white out and puts it on the other side. We used white out so we made it snow. They actually the said you couldn't, you couldn't draw on the front of it, so I kind of think they broke the rules. You could use the tools that you had. Ingenuity is a bitch. Tom keeps bringing up all these reasons why he should have gone further in the competition than us. Tom, you're, you're saying that allegory should be disqualified? Yeah, they broke the rules. Does everybody else here feel that way about I don't it? Problem with no. it? It's fine. It's cool. Nobody else give a And then when I call you out, oh, surprise, surprise, all the other cool kids backed you up. Everybody else agreed. They were like, no, I didn't cheat. I used my ingenuity with using something different. And it blows Tom's mind, and he just doesn't understand it, and he keeps going on and on about it. He just needs to claim responsibility, take his loss like a man. The judges have decided classic trilogy tattoo. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. When it comes down to it, we got eliminated on a technicality. One stupid small thing, but we did great tattoos. Ulysses and his partner, they did a shitty tattoo. They should have gone home. I don't understand why Tom keeps making excuses about portrait day or this and that. I didn't do the best tattoo. I know that. And you know what? I'm sitting here, I'm telling you, I didn't do the best tattoo. Tom can't understand that his is just a little bit worse than mine, and he can't take responsibility for it, and that's a problem. It's going to be a hell of a battle today. Both of these guys outside of the competition are heavy hitter tattoos. Oh, if they can bring that, we're going to see some amazing tattoos. It'd be really good to, to win against Tom because it would really show him that if you work hard instead of complain, you might do better. How are you going to cheat your way out of this one? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear bitches talking. When the dust settles, we'll see who's standing. We sure will.